The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residents and its forgotten history. Captain Dennis here with Squalls Marine Divers, back again on our way to North Carolina. We're headed down to Atlantic Beach to go diving with our friends at Atlantis Dive Charters. From Connecticut, the ride takes about 12 hours, and that's if you know where you're going and you're paying attention to the exits and the signs, which I didn't. Got to see a lot of gorgeous countryside, though, the way we went. We went down Route 13, and we got to North Carolina. And here's an idea of what our trip looked like, if we could fly like birds. Today we're diving a wreck called the Titan. The wind was a little nasty, so we couldn't make it to the U-boat. Not today, anyways. This was a 100-foot tugboat. We sank here. It's an artificial reef. The visibility was about 25 maybe 30 feet and with visibility like that you won't get any complaints from me I was just happy to be able to dive today I got a little nervous when it was blowing in the morning I'm gonna take my time today and really try to see as much as I can on the ship I was expecting to go to 115 feet on the submarine so I'm diving nitrox so I've got an awful lot of time As we come around the bow of this tugboat, you can see the grappling hook and how it's been tied in by one of the members of the Atlantis crew. This is the forward Samson post on the bow of the tugboat. Cables and lines would be used on this to push, pull, do all kinds of things with the tugboat. Oh, and here's a ladder. Here on the port bow, we're going to sneak on inside and see what we can see. Take a quick turn in here and make our way inside the tugboat. Here's one of the rooms, which could have been a bathroom, that might have been a shower. Just guessing. Think about the sailors making their way down into the tugboat. Probably the engine room, things like that. Here's the wheelhouse. All this wiring reminds me of my own boat. I think they did a better job with this. I sneak out the starboard side and I'm greeted by all these fishies. Hi fishies. They're all over the place down here. 
I couldn't get over how much marine life was down here. Working our way back into the ship. And somebody left these big metal things on the floor. This is why we can't have nice tugboats, guys. Again, fish love artificial reefs. That's why they make them. And those were some angel fish. This appears to be someone's quarters. This looks like a bed. It's got this little bracket on the side so you don't roll out. You know, like I used to have a bunk bed, you used to fall out of it all the time. And as we peer out this porthole, we see Glenn. Everybody say, hi, Glenn. Hi, Glenn. Now we're making our way back to the midships. I think this might have been the smokestack. I don't know, but it's completely collapsed inside the boat. Heading off the starboard side, making our way to the stern. Just hanging out with some fish here. They're checking me out as much as I'm checking them out. And this little guy, Mr. Seabass, was like biting my gear. I don't know if they feed them down here or what, but this guy would eat anything. Here we are on the stern of the ship. I don't see a prop, I don't see a rudder, so maybe it was removed. And these two dark colored fish, I don't know what they are, but this guy is an oyster toadfish. I know him from back in the sound. We have those up here. Weird little angry tadpole looking like thing. We come up on the business end of the tugboat the chafing gear and all that good stuff and that guy which I think is an amberjack or if I'm wrong I'm sure you YouTube folks will tell me now I'm heading up port here's the aft Samson post this one definitely towed all kinds of things in its day Here we are swimming along the gunnel, which is kind of cool. Reminded me of Star Wars. Just wanted to take a quick jaunt inside the belly of the beast. I want to go inside and see if there's anything cool and interesting down below inside the center of the tug. Get down inside and I find this guy. He doesn't look so good. I think somebody's been... I don't know if that starfish did this. But it looks like he's got some bites taken out of his back. It's always eerie inside a shipwreck. Oh! There's me. Oh look, sand dollar. I'm bring that home for mom. She loves sand dollars. Always be nice to your mom. So I'm gonna make my way out of the tugboat. Give her one last look, and then we'll find our way back up to the Atlantis. Everybody loves to get on airplanes and fly to all these crazy, out-of-the-way, faraway destinations. But we've got some world-class diving right here in the United States. If you live on the East Coast, north or south, it's not that bad of a drive to North Carolina. And it's gorgeous. 
this was the probably the C game from what the guys were telling me. This wasn't the A game, so it can get a lot better. It's just lousy conditions, and hey, I'm just happy to be here. And as I try to make my way back into the boat in five foot seas on a ladder that's moving, I'd like to say thank you for joining us once more here at Squalus Marine Divers. We have a few more videos from our North Carolina trip that are coming out shortly, so be sure to stay tuned. I'd like to say a big thank you to Captain Bobby and Renati down at Atlantis Dive Charters in Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. Until next time, I'm Captain Dennis. <laughs>